I was kind of wondering because I was looking at your kind of CV, I guess you would call it, but you've had a number of careers of um, being an actress, singer, model, um, photographer, and I'm wondering if there's an aspect of Muay Thai that kind of ties into that, if there's an aesthetic or performative aspect that you feel in your love for Muay Thai or in the way that you do Muay Thai. Well, yeah, no, there is definitely. I mean, I like, I love the aesthetic of it. Um, mm. it's such a beautiful form, um, mm. um, fighting form, and, and I love the the Ram Muay, mm. um, the white crew. It's, I, yeah, but you know, of course. I have this idea of the gentle warrior, but then, like, obviously, when you fight, then you can be gentle. <laughs> yeah. um, but definitely, I'm, I'm attracted by that. Uh, that's why I would like maybe to teach in the future if I can. So. Mm. Would you want to teach in Thailand or abroad? Well, my dream would be to open a gym in Thailand if I can, but that seems to be very difficult at the moment. But my, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, even though, even to find investors or people who wanted to do with me, uh, would want it to do with me, because of the political situation and the, the earth situation with the tsunamis, and uh, mm. so not many people would like to invest in Thailand. So. Mm. But we'll see. Would you want to open in Bangkok or in the south or somewhere different? Mm. Well, I'm not sure. Either Bangkok or the south. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I really like Bangkok, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know if... Yeah, maybe Bangkok. Yeah. Mm. And so do you see that as kind of a transition from fighting into owning and training in a gym? Or do you think that um, the two don't necessarily have to exclude the other, that you could keep training and fighting yourself and have the gym? Well, yeah, I think I could keep doing that, but certainly before opening the gym, I mean, the process of opening the gym would take a lot of time, so mm. maybe you have to, you know, mm. just focus on that for like, mm. two or three months, you can't really fight, but, yeah. Mm. So your arc is to stay in Thailand for as well, long as my, possible? <laughs> yeah, that's my aim, my goal would be, yeah, my dream is that, but I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I even thought about, you know, doing, going back to do some acting, or, I would love to do action movies, actually, but. Right, that one is another one, so I don't know if that <laughs> can happen as well. But you know, I, like this year is kind of crucial because I still have um, I supplied my place in New York, as I told you, and I still have all my stuff there. I, I haven't figured out what to do. Yeah, wow. I didn't get rid of it. I got rid of a lot of stuff, but not everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and my landlord just now is like, oh, two years you supplied your place. What are you going to do? So. Eventually, I have to see because if I really don't want to live in New York at all anymore, mm. then I just have to just get rid of everything. So I have to make that trip as well. Mm. Is your family connected to your Muay Thai at all? Like, mm. well, they. Um, I went to fight in Italy for the first time last year, and um, I think my my parents came to see me for the first time. But I always show them my videos and stuff. They don't really. I mean, they, they like, um, my, I think my father is kind of proud of me because he likes, um, he wanted me to do some sp sport in my mm. life before when I was uh, doing athletics or, mm. or swimming or, uh, he always treated me like a boy, so mm. now that I became world champion of Muay Thai, world mm. champion of Muay Thai, he's kind of proud, yeah, proud of me. And sometimes when I go back, he's like, oh, go running, you're not running, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. That's so, very sweet. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you could choose between being a boy doing Muay Thai and kind of vanishing into the kind of sea of men doing Muay Thai, or have the difficulties of being a woman but have the kind of place you have, you're, you're known in the Muay Thai community um, and you, you stand out for a number of reasons, would you rather kind of disappear? Um, and have it be more focused, or would you rather kind of be in the place that you're in um, and maybe work to resolve some of the issues? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, 
I yeah, I thought about it. In, actually, on Facebook, I wrote one day, I wish I was a man, and <laughs> this I was really pissed off with a lot of things that happening in the gym to the boy that really clinched me. But um, but like you said, yeah, if I if I really have to think about it, I, I'm I'm at the end, I think I'm happy to to be a woman and, and to be at the place where I'm at and. And maybe actually one of my goals would be to, even if I open a gym, to have more women training mm. and maybe, or to organize fights just for women or just mm. to do something uh, to promote women more time more in the world. Because really, like, even in Europe, the most of the galas, mm. uh, most of the gala, they're, um, they're only male fighters. Like, mm. and male fighters are paid so much more money than women. Mm. It's just like, and we're like in 2010, you know, yeah. <laughs> and still, it's like, oh, we don't want to see women fight, oh, because like, yeah. what, I, you know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, or the rounds are different. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, um, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it, you know. Yeah, I mean, even, even, you would think that in Europe it's better, but it's not mm -hmm. as worse, actually, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the shows they don't even have women fighters. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, there's one promoter in Italy who's just I don't want to have women fighters like, at all. Like, like, why? And he says that like yeah, openly. He just, yeah, just don't want to deal with that. You know, mm. and that you know, in that sense, Thailand is more progressive. Mm. But, you yeah. Know, even though, yeah, of course, women get paid so much mm. less. Yeah. Than men. But uh, now, yeah, actually, I think that uh, Malaysia is. They told me before women were not allowed to fight in Malaysia, now they're allowed to fight in Malaysia, so... Do you know how long they've been able to do that? Not long. It's she might be one of the first fights. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. <laughs> yeah. So if, if there was... You've probably heard this expression, if I knew then what I know now. Like, what is one thing that you know now from your experience in living in Thailand that you wish you could tell yourself? Well, if I knew back then, well, first of all, I would just go to Bangkok directly. <laughs> I wouldn't go to Chiang Mai. Or Phuket, yeah. Oh. Um, and um, I would come to Thailand earlier if you, you know, an advice mm -hmm. for other people who want to, you know, they train. And maybe they think they're not ready to go to Thailand, or like for many years. So it's just like I think it's good to go to Thailand as soon mm -hmm. as you can, and to have as many fights as you can too. It's mm. a good experience to go in the ring. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay.